What's going on guys, this is the Iron Player here and today I'm proud to bring you the British Invasion. To introduce myself, I am the Unknown Player, that's my YouTube name. Uh, my actual YouTube name is Unknown Player 3 um, So I'm a British commentator, I'm from London, live in London, England. <laughs> if you didn't know, Inc there, London is in England in fact and England is part of Great Britain. Um, so I'm 17, I uh, go to college, kind of college slash school, it's called Sixth Form, don't know if you have that in America, you probably don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but that is uh, the equivalent to the year before you go to university or college or college, as you Americans call it. So I post commentaries, um, I talk about gameplay or I talk about other things not related to gameplay, I talk about whatever I want, whatever appeals to me at the moment. Um, so I started my first ever commentary on April, I've grown very nicely, I'm so happy to have received the small feedback and small appreciation for my videos, for the effort I put into them, I've enjoyed making videos ever since I first posted that video in April. So anyway, as I say, I post commentaries mainly over Modern Warfare 3, but that's going to be changing very soon. Um, so I've started to play other games, I've started to record them and they are in the work, they're in editing and they're in the corner stage and they will be up very shortly um, so definitely look out for those. The games I play, Modern Warfare 3 as I've said. So a little bit about me, the subjects that I take are business studies, biology, history and philosophy and ethics. Philosophy and ethics are one subject. And the main topic I'm going to talk about today is history, because it links in with the whole idea of the British Invasion, the name of the series, and Independence Day, 4th of July, all that, and American history. So, history I've actually studied is, like, I've studied loads of history, I've studied, because I've studied from the whole school and I haven't dropped history. I've studied, like, Nazi Germany, World War II, uh, Cold War, 20th century, like, British politics during the 18th century, or 19th century and China, how they became communist during the 20th century, India, which is similar to America, India 1850 to 1950, it's the, way I, the reason I say it's similar to America is because they broke free from British rule just like um, America did, and they declared their independence, they fought figures such as Gandhi, I no doubt you've probably heard of a man called Gandhi, but it's all around the idea that the British were like these big bullies. We were like such big bullies back in the past. And we just had this control over so many countries. There are no hard feelings or anything. Just like, ah, oh, sit around and grumble. All we do is sit around and drink tea. I love drink tea. I drink tea every day. Um, but it's interesting just to see how Britain once controlled almost half the entire world. And how now we have so many different great countries that are free, they're all independent, they're doing their own thing. And when you look back, some of the things that you can see throughout history really does kind of stick out to you to be wrong. And think, wow, they really shouldn't have been doing that. So what I want to see from the comment section in this video, I want you to just spam out the comments. I want you to tell me, and this is for the Americans and quite possibly people in other countries, I want to know what do you do on Independence Day? What do you do on the 4th of July? Is there like special meals you have for your families? Do you go out certain places? Do you just go out and get drunk if you are old enough to get drunk? Do you, I don't know, just tell me what you do, tell me what you talk about. Is there like a recurrent theme in your school? Like what do they tell you about the War of Independence or Independence Day? Like it's an interesting thing because my history, as I've said, I've covered like so many things, but like American history is one of my favourite branches of history and I haven't really studied much of it. Like when I studied the Cold War, I was very interested in that, but I wish I could study um, things like the War of Independence or the American Civil War because they're so fascinating to me. I don't know why... American history is so much more interesting to me than other countries. Like British history to me is so boring. Maybe because it's all just politics and all we do is sit around and moan about weather and bullshit like that. So I'd like to thank Wretched or Steve for letting me post on his channel. It's an amazing opportunity he's given me and it's such a great idea for him to come up with uh, British commentators posting on his channel for this um, special week of independence themed videos. So, um, yeah, I'd definitely like to thank him for letting me and other commentators post on his channel. Uh, definitely look forward to other commentators posting on the channel. Their, comment their commentaries will be something to get excited for. His channel is host to a lot of different things, like he does montages, he breaks down other people's commentaries. 
makes uh, special kind of cinematic montages for other people and their gameplays, their Moabs, whatever. And he does just normal standard commentaries, which are amazing. He's got, like, I find he's just got that commentating voice where he could just talk about just anything. And he's just got that American kind of spectator sport voice where he could just classically talk about things. But anyway, I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you've enjoyed my commentary, what I've had to talk about. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this Moab. I was kind of sticking around and then it took me a while to uh, get into the game. But eventually when I did, I thought, yeah, I want to get this Moab. I want to try hard. And then I rushed. I definitely didn't camp. I was aggressive. I pushed them, picked up the game winning kill and picked up the Moab. Got the win for my team. I was playing with my British friends. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this gameplay. Uh, definitely stay tuned to uh, Steve's channel. You can definitely come back to my channel, subscribe to me if you want to see the games that I have to post. It's definitely exciting in the next few days. Um, subscribe to Steve, like his videos because he definitely deserves the recognition. And I guess I'll see you guys later.